Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm Lorianne and we're going to take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign. And what I'm going to do is just pull a card right now to get the mojo going. We're going to see what's going to, uh, what's going to happen after I pull this one card. It's a brand new method that I'm using. Let me know how you like it. We're going to do this and then I will pull the camera down and we'll look at them on the table. What I'm getting right now for you guys overall in general, and this is a general reading by the way, take from the reading what is applicable to your life, let go of the rest, don't hold on to it. If you hear the word reconcile, don't, don't worry about it. Just follow the reading and see what is meant for you. And right off the bat, what I was getting before while I was meditating is that some of you might need to sage your home. Sage is a way to release the negative energy and it actually removes the negativity around you. And then you want to make sure you bring in something positive and lavender is the one that I'm getting for you. Now the overall energy for this week is the Queen of Swords. You may have Libra in your chart. You may be dealing with a Libra in your life somehow, some way. This is about documentation, severing ties, and listening to people with communication back and forth. That's a very positive, but using discernment. So some of you have something coming in that's going to be great. Let's go ahead and take a look. Aries, so we have the Queen of Swords, and you know, this is talking about clearing out your home. This is a distinct message that I get for this major group of you to clear out your home, sage, and make sure that when you sage, you're removing all the negative ions, the entities, the energies that are surrounding you. But make sure that you bring in that positive, and lavender is very highlighted. Um, I feel that this is going to really help balance you out over this next week from whatever date you are looking at this video. So with this Queen of Swords, this is communication coming in. This is an offer, an opportunity. And let's see what else is coming for this week because this is beautiful energy where you may find yourself in a place of being able to speak. On the date that I'm recording this, Mercury is getting ready to go direct. And it's lovely, okay? What's coming in the year of 2022 is it's not to say that it's going to be um, an easy feat. It is not. We all have to fight. We all have to keep working hard and persevere. But it's going to be an amazing outcome. And that's what I'm saying. Some of you have a healing opportune moment. It may be with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius individual. You may have that in your uh, overall uh, chart. Or be dealing with somebody who has those energies. But it's about air this week for you. Which is communication, how we started the reading. The star card is saying you have something very big. Something that's going to put you in a spotlight. After you're done releasing. And I feel it has everything to do with Mercury going direct. Now we're going to have uh, four of them this year. If you are in my free newsletter, you should have received your February newsletter. And I talk a little bit about what we can expect in the year of 2022. And this is absolutely in track for what I described. Free newsletter is at ascendingsoulsjourney.com. The Ten of Cups, this is your family, healing some family issues, where I feel some of you are getting ready to receive some information from somebody that you love. Now, it could be an actual family member, and for others, it may be a friend of the family, but I feel it is outside of your work. It is outside of your, um, yeah, your career, work, or education. This is more about your family environment, and this is truly what you want every every Aries, every single one of you, you want the best of everything. You want an abundant life. And this is saying you're about ready to get it. Whoever this person is, the communication is going to be way overdue. 4-6, 4-6 months for some of you, all the way up 4-6 years. But let's take a look at the detail when it comes to this individual person. Yeah, you see, there was some major heartbreak. Some, some type of pain was attached to this individual. Now, that Queen of Swords could be you having the communication outwardly on who you're going to let back in your world. And I do feel that is absolutely in play. Because Aries, you've come too far to go back. This is this beautiful, positive 
communication getting ready to come in to heal a past situation. These are the details of what took place in the past. Heartbreak, Three of Swords. And we have the Devil card. Now, it could be with a Capricorn, absolutely. I also, uh, Virgo is in this reading. I feel that a Taurian is in this reading. Sagittarius is in this reading. And Pisces is highlighted as well. We'll see if those cards come out. But those are the energies that I get are coming through. So Aries, this is your time to really tap into your inner wisdom so that you can see if there's any deception around you, particularly when this person reaches out to you. Now, you should be hearing from them very soon after you listen to this video. For some of you, they may have recently come in depending on when you listen to it. I do these a week in advance. So this is actually for the first full week of February. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles. This may be a very, very monumental moment where lessons are going to be learned when it comes to whoever this person was. We do have the King of Swords, and that emphasizes the zodiac sign of Aquarius, much like the Star card. Some of you are getting um, in an offer that may have some deception around it, and this is outside of your family. Right now, I'm looking at your finances, and you have a situation where you need to uh, really understand this is a learning opportunity, one that you're going to be presenting yourself and whatever it is that you do for a living in a group of people. Teaching, this is the teacher card, the Nine of Pentacles is feeling very, very confident in your financial and your security world. The King of Swords is coming in here and presenting an offer that's going to make you reflect back on what you've already experienced. Now, they may remind you of a family member, most definitely, but most likely for a lot of you, this is going to trigger you back into the beginning of the journey of self-reflection. Something that you needed to look at then, you are pulling the lesson and remembering it through this offer, through this opportunity, and it is going to be really, really good. The Seven of Swords in a negative aspect is talking about deception and betrayal. But in a positive aspect of that particular card, it's talking about taking the lessons and leaving behind anything that doesn't work for you anymore. So when it comes to dealing with contracts, make sure that you read the contract. You may have been in a situation where you didn't read what was going, to, you know, what they really expected from you and all of the details and they're saying you've already learned that lesson so whatever this contract is you are going to look at it from a different angle you're feeling really really good over the next one dash two weeks through this reading all the way up until about february 20th you may feel a little bit shaky then we'll look at that in a future reading but this is saying over the next one to two weeks You've got something incredible that's going to put you in the spotlight. Something you may have been working on for five to six months, five to six years. This may be a true calling that you're getting ready to show yourself in the star presence. That means in society, all eyes are going to be on you. So you're feeling confident about whatever it is because you have already grown so, so much. So this is a beautiful testing time. And that may very well be why they're saying it's time for you to sage, clear, cleanse, and replace with the good stuff, right? So if, if it has nothing to do with negative energies in your home, although always make sure you're doing that because they fly in from out of nowhere. And particularly if you are in a healing capacity, if you help others heal in their life in any way, if you are a counselor, if you're an independent business owner, whatever you're doing, this is your moment to, it's like a test of your fate, a test of your knowledge and wisdom. Are you going to pass a test? I feel that you are. Why? Because you have such beautiful cards all the way through this reading. This is the detail, and these cards are the outcome, right? So you're going to do great, especially for those of you who are trying to reconcile differences with a family member. But when it comes to this offer, this has a contract attached to it, so make sure that you are double-checking it. Now, I feel for some of you, it has to do with electronics. I'm hearing the word electronics. You could be an electrical engineer, an electrical designer. You may work in the 
industry that provides lighting inside of homes. Electrical could mean anything, including the automobile industry, where you're handling the electricity aspect of the vehicles. And with the futuristic vehicles that are being built right now, this may be that dream opportunity, but you are definitely going to be feeling good about this offer. So let's take a look at anything that may come through that could be a challenge for you and uh, see what we can do to help you stay on track with the major main message of communication. We have the Seven of Wands and this is blocking out anything or anyone from you setting new boundaries and that's what they're saying you've learned your lesson beautiful beautiful energy because the seven of wands is protecting yourself that's the saging that we're talking about that's clearing anybody out that's a snake a little a little dickens in your life that created some heartbreak some pain for you it also has to do with your physical mental and and emotional well-being this is a time for you guys to make sure you are 100% in alignment with whatever you're getting ready to. This offer is going to test that as well. So if you're feeling under the weather, make sure you are treating yourself so that you can rejuvenate your energy and feel awoken to this opportunity. Setting boundaries all around you to protect you, guide you, and keep anybody out that is a, a potential threat. This emperor right here, this emperor is a beautiful energy and that does represent you as an Aries. So this is that beautiful stubborn side of all of us, no matter what our zodiac sign is. The emperor is also a place of centered grounding, setting up boundaries so that you can be grounded and understand the difference of a poor offer or a good offer. This is an opportunity that is going to be amazing with the star card right underneath it. So again, you're going to be in the social spotlight. You may be tested on your abilities, on your certifications, on whatever skills you have in the week that follows this reading. One to two week period of time. You already know the emperor holds such great wisdom and you have that beautiful card of wisdom right here. You see? You already have everything you need. You already know what to do. And you're feeling very confident about it. So make sure that you keep those boundaries up in case this particular card reverses on you. The emperor in the reverse is stubborn as all get out. And they are not willing to compromise at all. But with it being in the upright, they're saying, yeah, you have an opportunity that is compromisable. <laughs> and you will be able to actually find your way to something that suits you. Now we have the card of the magician. You see, you have created this in your own environment. This is that communication where whatever you've been seeing in alignment with you, you're going to rise into this beautiful position because you know how to do it. You've already learned. And you're going to take all of that skill set and you're going to move it forward. Now, some of you are in the healing industry. I will tell you that. I feel it very strongly in this reading. So the magician can be somebody who is very creative, very expansive. And like I said, it does have something. For some of you, it has to do with electrical. Now, that could be your electrical setting at home. If you're in a different industry, maybe looking at your electronics so that you can make sure that you get this message. Today, as I go to record, I am having a lot of difficulties recording. It's doing some weird stuff on all of my platforms, on my, my technological uh, items. And I have that happen quite a bit, but today is worse than normal. When we get into this phase of being able to create and manifest, and that's what this is saying, Re recalculate yourself, redirect yourself and follow your own plan because you already know what to do and you will create this magical moment where you are going to be the star. Now in the negative aspect, you may be dealing with a negative situation, like I said, and that negative situation is going to call for you to really, really hold your ground as the queen of swords. Communicate also means listening to the other people but not listening so you can find just the good stuff. It's listening so that you can hear what they're not saying. Look at their body movement. Look at their, their uh, tone, listen to their tonality. You're going to see if they are actually a little bit of a manipulative energy. 
and that would be the test for you. This is a moment where you're going to shine and you are going to feel everything around you and it is going to be wonderful. Communication is vital in the next two weeks. So let's take a look at you guys when it comes to married and singles. We're going to look at love for you and see what may be coming in. So when it comes to married, mm -hmm, married couples, if you're with somebody, you are moving into a brand new level of your relationship. The engagement card is talking about a higher level than where you're at today. So if you're dating somebody and you're committed to each other, like, you know, I'm with you, you're with me, this may be you moving in together. And I feel for a lot of you, it has to do with the beautiful boundaries that you've learned to set for yourself. If you're in a relationship already where you're already living together, this may be getting married. It may be moving into a new period of time between you and your partner, especially those of you who have been together for over 15, 10-15 years. It's going to be highlighted where you're revamping and restructuring with imagination a new way of being and interconnecting with each other. You might be dealing with somebody who is super stubborn, okay, but it's not in a bad way. They do this because they know what works and what doesn't work. However, with this magician, you have the ability to work with them and literally manifest the relationship that you want. Now, let's take a look at our singles and see what's coming for you guys. We have religious factors. So there may be a large differences between the two of you. But when we recalculate how can we be with this person, we really, really like them and most likely are going to fall in love with them. For some of you, this is a situation where um, you might be meeting a twin flame type of a scenario, a soul connection that triggers you back to test your fate, to test your strengths and abilities. So you will be completely different. They're over here, you're over here, but together in the center is where that beautiful connection can create magic. This may be somebody you've been waiting for for a long time, but it won't be uh, a piece of cake with them. And that will be the beauty of the relationship. Because when we're with somebody like that, it challenges us every day to be the better version of ourself. So some incredible, awesome energy is coming through for our beautiful Aries. I hope you have an amazing week. Please thumbs up this video, share, and subscribe. Much love.